Hello there. My name is Cyril Jeet Gupta and today I want to show you this great new product that I've made called Market Jeet Pro. Now the traditional way to get viewers on YouTube is to optimize your page, build links outside YouTube and do a lot of manual work. But here's a new automated tool that can help you build an audience from within YouTube using automated features that are awesome and which can get you some really really quick publicity on YouTube for your channel. Now let's see how this software works and what it can do for you. Market Jeet is a YouTube interaction tool which works on auto which can help you get users and videos from YouTube and it can let you interact with these users and the videos that you've harvested from YouTube using the features in Market Jeet Pro. Now let's start with the harvesting users feature. Why would you want to harvest a user? Uh, suppose you are working in a certain niche and you want to identify the users who are active in the same niche on YouTube, who are talking about it, who are viewing those videos, who are liking those videos, who are commenting on those videos. Now these guys can be your customers and knowing who they are, you can approach them, you can reach them, you can direct them to your video and you can also talk to them about your product or service and promote your things to them. MarketJit Pro lets you harvest users from YouTube through three major functions. The first is find from keywords. You can specify any keyword on MarketJit Pro and MarketJit will get the people who are working with videos or who are talking about the videos in the niche for the keyword from YouTube. Here's how you can do it. Just click on find from keywords and type your uh, keyword that you're targeting. For example, in this one, I'm going to target uh, Photoshop tutorials. So I can just write Photoshop tutorials and target the number of users that you want to harvest. Let's go for 250 and the user group. Now the user groups are actually categories that you create by yourself where you want to store the targeted users or the collected users that you harvested from YouTube through the uh, various functions. Now I want to put these Photoshop uh, users obviously in a group called Photoshop users and if I want I can add a new group but I don't want to do that so uh, I'll just do it again keyword uh, Photoshop tutorials and I already have a group called uh, Photoshop users I'll click on it and I'll click on submit this will create a pending tasks or actually this will create five pending tasks on market Jeet, and to harvest these users to actually get this data from YouTube all you need to do is click on start and these are the pending tasks that you can see that market Jeet is working on this and there are five tasks and with three different threads and as the time progresses the pending tasks will start disappearing finally we will get an empty task list with no pending tasks. While this happens, let's move on to uh, our other section. The second button here that you can see is harvest YouTube pages. Using this function, you can harvest the users interacting with any YouTube page. You can harvest the users from any YouTube page. For example, if you wanted to harvest a uh, user from say uh, this page, let's pick a video because that's where we'll find all the users so if I were to uh, harvest uh, users from this page yeah. all I need to do is take the URL come back to my software and click on this button paste the URL here select the group where I want to put it let's select Photoshop users again and click on submit so this will create the pending task required and I will be able to get the data from YouTube page that is selected. The, this ne the next button is harvest from tops. Now YouTube has a number of top feeds where you can get data updated uh, continuously. We got the top rated feed, the top favorited videos, the most shared videos, the most popular videos, the, the latest videos, the, the most discussed videos and so on. You can collect up to 2000 users in one go from the feeds just select the feed that you want to target select the number of users that you want to target put them in a group and click on submit 
again you will get some more pending tasks which you can do at any point of time just by clicking on the start button remember MarketJit Pro can work even while you're doing your other work on uh, your computer so just make all the pending tasks and click on start go back to your computer work on any project that you want and MarketJit will work in the background collecting all the information that you asked it to the next button that I want to show you the next category that I want to show you is harvest videos using this particular segment you can harvest videos of any niche through the MarketJit Pro and you can get the URLs of those videos which you can use to uh, either comment on them or to harvest users from them you can add a video manually to any group but we'll do that if we uh, uh, know the URL already and we just want to target it or you can find the videos for any channel on YouTube this is a very good feature if you want to target any of your competitors just type in the user ID and you will be able to harvest all the videos from the competitors channel let's uh, pick up this channel for example let's go back and let's take this channel defax so we'll just need to take the username nothing more than that come back to market Jeep pro paste it here and how many uh, videos you want to harvest you can have up to 2000 let's go for 100 select the group where you want to put in and click on submit and some more tasks will be added you can find videos through keywords type in your favorite keyword select the number of videos that you want to harvest select a video group click on submit some more tasks and you can also harvest videos from tops just like the way we harvest users you can also harvest the latest videos from YouTube feeds just select the feed that you want to target and click on the target results that you want to get click on the group and click on submit and you can also get the videos listed on any YouTube page for example if I were to get the videos if I wanted to get the videos listed on this page I just need to take the URL paste it over here in MarketJit Pro and it will get me all those videos and now I want to show you the way you can interact with the data you've collected let us start with user interactions in this section we will interact with all the users that you've harvested from YouTube using MarketJit Pro using the harvest users feature coming back to user interactions we've got three basic buttons three buttons here contact request subscribe and share video contact request is where you actually send a contact request uh, to the users that you harvested it's sort of like a Facebook friendship request you can select the user group that you want to target this is where we put in all the data that we harvested from YouTube from harvest uh, using harvest users and we can select the YouTube uh, account that we want to use to send them the uh, contact request you can have as many accounts as you want and this is where you select the number of users that you want to send the contact request to let's select 50 and later on we can come back here and select 50 more and MarketJit will send the fresh 50 requests to new users it will not target the same users again so you are assured that you will not violate the YouTube terms and conditions and you will not be spamming any user through MarketJit Pro click on submit okay sorry we need to select the uh, group and account here click on submit and this will also be select click on submit and this will also be added to the pending tasks you can choose to subscribe to any the any of the users that you selected just select the group select the account that you want to subscribe with and then select the number of users that you want to subscribe to this is sort of like you know trading Twitter likes you like a Twitter account and they like you back the basic funda is you like a user on Facebook you like a video channel on Facebook and they will probably want to return the favor they will want to build the community and they will like you back just click the user group account number of requests that you want to make number of subscriptions that you want to make and click on submit and we'll have some more pending tasks the last button is share video using this feature you can share the URL of any video through a message to the people in your contact list so just select the account that you want to work with paste in the video URL the channel URL with which you want to uh, 
message to the uh, person you are sending the request to, the subject, a brief message, the number of requests that you want to make, the number of sh video shares that you want to make, and click on submit. Remember one thing, MarketJit Pro can send sh sh videos or video URLs only to the people who are in your contact request. So make sure that you build a nice big uh, contact list by using the contact request feature of MarketJit Pro. Coming to the video interactions, this is where you work with the video URLs that you harvested through MarketJit. The first function is get comment users. Now here you will actually feed in a video URL that is uh, from YouTube and you will be able to harvest the users who have commented on this video. This will help you identify the users who are interested in any particular video and you can reach out to them through uh, YouTube contact requests or share a video with them once you have uh, share a video with them once they have accepted your contact request. So just feed in the video URL that you want to get the users from, mm, select the number of users that you want to target, put them in a user group and click submit. Get related videos. Using this feature you can get the videos on the suggested video sidebar for any video. This is how you can expand your list of uh, targeted videos. For example if you're working in any niche and you want to get all the videos connected to uh, any particular video so that you can target those two just feed the video URL here select the video group that we had for example we had put our last uh, data in test and click on submit and the last button which is I think the most fun button in MarketJit Pro is post comments select a video group select a comment group you can create new comment groups that uh, that you that you can use uh, basically, a comment group is where you put in a lot of different comments that you that MarketJit Pro will randomly select between. You can add as many comments as you want by using the Add New Comment button. We have a particular list ready, so we'll just go with that and select the account, select the Gmail account that you'll be using to make these comments, the number of requests, and click on Submit. What MarketJit Pro will do is it will take the videos that you collected and it will go to the video pages it will randomly select a comment from your comments list and it will paste it there using this feature you can build links for your video on YouTube and you can also reach out to the viewers who are watching this video and take them potentially to your uh, YouTube video page or they can also go to your channel they might end up clicking on the video uh, video header or the commentators name and they might end up going to your channel. So this is how MarketJit Pro can build a community for you on YouTube by getting you more users that you can reach out through contact requests and share a video with them and, and through videos where you can post comments and reach out to the viewers of that video. To the ho in the home screen we can get the harvest statistics which will tell, which will tell you at any point of time how, many, uh, how much data have you collected how many videos you have in each group and how many uh, users you have in each group now there are some more buttons over here let me show you the first one is report which gives you the result for all the tasks that you had uh, piled up and uh, if the if the task is successful you will see a green check mark with the task of course the task name the class the date when it was completed the data you know which would be the keyword or the group name that you used and the result if a particular task did not succeed there will be a red cross and if you click on the red cross you will get to know exactly what went wrong you can either use this to debug the problem yourself or you can send this to the programmers of uh, MarketJit Pro who can have a look at this and tell you what you need to do differently to get this data great so this is the entire overview of MarketJit Pro we have a number of pending tasks already piled up I'm going to click on the start button and now I'm going to go and work on my uh, computer. I'm going to do something that interests me maybe, to play a game or read a web page and I can keep checking back. Yes, the number of tasks are being performed and while MarketJit does the work for me, I can have uh, something. I can play a game.